Okay, let's look at today's recipes again, beginning with the yuba an sauce with rice. Combine the rinsed and soaked rice with water in a rice cooker and turn it on. Season the ground chicken with sake, mirin, and soy sauce in a saucepan and mix well. While mixing evenly, turn to medium heat and make the soboro by continuously stirring. Drain in a sieve. Mix the soboro into the cooked rice. Mix in the beaten eggs. Let it cook using the keep warm mode of the rice cooker for 10 to 15 minutes. Cut the fresh yuba into two to three centimeter square pieces and set aside. Grate the ginger and chop the green onions. Place the kombu katsu dashi into a saucepan. Add the mirin and soy sauce and turn on the heat. Add the yuba pieces to the boiling soup. Let each open flat and add the potato starch slurry little by little. When the dashi soup is thickened and has a sheen, turn off the heat and mix in the chopped green onions. Arrange the rice into each bowl, ladle the sauce over it, and top with grated ginger, and it's done. To make the amazu pickled cucumber and jaco, cut both ends off the cucumbers and peel the bottoms. Generously sprinkle with salt, do itazuri, and rinse in water. Lightly mash them with a rolling pin to break the center apart, then cut into bite-sized pieces. Combine vinegar, sugar, salt, chirimenjako, and red pepper in a microwave-safe bowl and microwave for one minute. Mix the dressing with cucumber while hot and let the cucumber marinate for 15 minutes. Arrange into a bowl, considering color balance, then pour all of the dressing over the top, and it's finished. Enjoy this traditional yet very modern Japanese dish you've made yourself.